welcome. The name of this book is Big Panda, Little Panda. Ever since the little panda could remember, he'd been called Little Panda. When he was tiny, his mother fed him many times a day. Who's the best looking little panda in the whole wide world? She whispered and held him close. When little panda began to pad about, he sometimes fell and hurt himself, but mom was always there to scoop him up. Let's see if we can make that feel better, she said. And after a hug and a kiss, little panda really did feel much, much better. And every night when she tucked him in, his mother sang a lullaby. Then, when he was not quite such a little panda, she began to read to him from the old storybook. One night, mom held little panda extra close. Who's the best looking big panda, she whispered. Little panda was puzzled. He looked around the room and shook his head. Then his mother explained, very soon there will be a new little panda and I'll need a great big panda to help look after us. Finally, the new little panda arrived. Was I ever that little? Big Panda asked. Yes, dear, Mom replied. You were exactly that little and exactly that cute. Mom and Big Panda took very good care of the new little panda, and Big Panda even started helping Mom with the housework. One day, Big Panda saw the wash piled in the laundry basket. I bet I can hang it all by myself, he thought. Mom smiled. You really are my Big Panda, she said. Meanwhile, Little Panda was getting bigger and bigger. Pretty soon, she'll be ready to eat bamboo leaves by herself, said Big Panda. But Mom didn't seem to be listening. Open wide, she said as she put another spoonful of food into Little Panda's mouth. After lunch, Big Panda helped clear off the dishes. That's when he dropped a bowl and hurt his paw on one of the pieces. Ouch, he cried and he ran to mom and showed her the cut. Oh dear, said mom, I don't think that's too bad, but let's get it cleaned up right away. That's when Big Panda first noticed that mom looked very tired. After supper, Big Panda found the old storybook. Will you read to me, he asked. Of course I will, said mom. I love to read to my Big Panda. But then she gave a great big yawn. And before they could begin, Little Panda started to cry. I won't be a minute, said Mom. When at last she came back, Mom gave another huge yawn. She began to turn the pages of the storybook faster and faster. Stop, cried Big Panda. You're leaving out the best part. But Mom was very, very tired. In a few minutes, she was fast asleep. Big Panda was tired too. He was tired of housework. He was tired of missing story time. And most of all, he was tired of having a mom who was always tired. I don't like being big, he sniffed. So Big Panda wrapped Little Panda in a blanket and tucked her in his bed. Then he padded back to Little Panda's bed and squeezed in. When at last she woke up, Mom looked for a long time at the two pandas. She remembered the unfinished story. I'm sorry, Big Panda, she whispered. Next morning, Mom was up early, and so was Little Panda. Time to get up, Big Panda, she called. Where are we going, Big Panda asked. Come on, we're going out, said Mom. We all need a change. Mom led the way to the forest. All day long, the pandas played. They slid down banks and climbed trees. They chased butterflies and they munched on tender, delicious bamboo leaves. That night, Mom was exhausted, but she still had a story to finish. Where are you, Big Panda, she called. At first, there was no reply. Then suddenly, a huge furry ball crashed into view. The panda's home shuddered. Good heavens, cried Mom. What's that? The furry ball gargled and giggled. It's little panda and me, came the reply. And before she knew it, mom was part of the game. Mom picked herself up, 
She tried to get on with the story, but Big Panda kept interrupting. Look at us, look at us, he cried. I'm teaching Little Panda to stand on her head. At last, the pandas quieted down and Mom began to read. Oh dear, she yawned. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Never mind, cried Big Panda. He reached across for the book. I can read the story tonight because I really am Big Panda now. And I think I'm going to like being big after all. Thank you for reading with me. Goodbye.